I can't stand it anymore. This thing has got to go. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this. It's too much. I look down, it gets in my face. I look, it's always in my face. I can't, it's going. I'll, I'll, it's time to clean up for 2021, okay? And so now we are back and it's, uh, it's wonderful to see you guys. I hope you're doing well. Brand new video for you guys today. So yeah, I got the haircut kind of done now. Now granted, it's not, it's not perfect or anything, but you know, I, I asked the guy to do a certain style and then he kind of took it upon himself to like keep going with it. So now we kind of have what we got going on here. Anyways, good to see you guys back to get uh, back together today for another video. And today's gonna be something kind of cool because I think a lot of uh, streamers kind of look to this thing as something that they need to stream with. And I'm talking about a stream deck. And yeah, I have one right here that I'm uh, I'm using now. It's a little scuffed, and I'll explain why. So th this is my stream deck, but today I'm talking about two free programs on top of a stream deck that'll take your uh, your stream game to the next level, and you don't have to pay a dime now. If you do want to pay some money, you can, and you can get a little upgrades here and there, but I'm here to show you guys exactly the two apps I'm going to show you guys that th there's plenty more out there that I'm not going to get into. You can just go, go look for them. So today we're going to be talking about two free applications, much like your stream deck, but instead it's going to be applications on your phone that you're going to be able to connect using Wi-Fi or a wired connection. And I'm talking about two programs free one's on iOS and Android, and one is only on Android. So we'll talk about both here in a second, but I'm talking about touch portal as well as deck board. Now, both these apps are free. Again, there are paid versions though, and those paid versions will give you more features and more, uh, more, more buttons, more, more pages and all that kind of stuff. So get excited. We're about to get right into it again. This is called deck board and touch portal. You can go check that out. You can skip the entire video and just go look yourself or stick around. And I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like. Let's take a look. So deck board is a nice clean setup right here. As you can see, just a bunch of buttons sitting on a uh, thing here. And each one of these buttons would do something individually if I had my OBS open and running. Now this does connect via Wi-Fi, So it's literally connected to my PC right now. So I could sit here and start swapping between all my different sources and whatnot. And I'll show you a little behind the scenes as we kind of go through it. I'll actually, I set this up uh, myself. Uh, you can see how we do it. So all you gotta do is go to the website, you download the uh, the applications, you gotta install them. Now, one of them will make you uh, install and then go for a full on restart. However, one of them you don't really need to. Now, you also, with a no with one of these programs, you do need the WebSocket plugin, and I believe that is Touch Portal, but it's quite simple. All you gotta do is go to this website, you download this thing, it installs it directly into OBS, so you don't have to worry about anything. Once it's installed, you will have to restart your computer, unfortunately. So once you restart, you get your uh, your OBS back up and running. Now it's installed and you're good to go. All you gotta do is now log into your uh, your touch portal and uh, connect via the just the application. It, it can auto connect for you. It's really quite simple. Now with DeckBoard, uh, DeckBoard is very much to connect. All you gotta do is load up the software on your phone, load up the software on your PC, connect it to OBS by a button, and you're good to go. It is that simple. Both these programs are pretty simple, but DeckBoard is just a little bit simpler. So just keep that in mind. Now, Stream Deck from Elgato, this thing I think is what, like 150 bucks? Now mine right here, this one has a little bit of issues here and I'll, I'll show you a little behind the scenes video of what my uh, my keys are actually looking like. It's kind of scuffed and I'm not sure if I got a bad, a bag, uh, uh, a backlight thing going on here or whatnot, but the, uh, the panel inside you, you can see all my keys are kind of white. That's not good. It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be different colors and stuff. But uh, it's kind of failed me a few times. And I think it might have been from like some static electricity and like I touched it and then all of a sudden it just kind of like fried itself a little bit. And now all my keys are kind of white and gray and kind of like you know you know that that negative filter you can apply on cameras and stuff much like that. So anyways, but it, you know it still works. I still know what my buttons are and the Stream Deck software is pretty simple and intuitive. And there's also different add-ons and plugins you can uh, you can find yourself. Now that's one thing that's really cool about Touch Portal though, even though you have to go one step beyond, there is a bunch of plugins and downloads and stuff that you can apply to your, uh, to the Touch Portal application. Touch Portal on the other hand, it kind of looks like this, very similar to a stream deck. You got a bunch of buttons here. Uh, and it, again, this is free. So technically with the bigger paid versions, you can increase that size and get yourself a lot more buttons on screen to make it better for you. And I'm talking more buttons than a, uh, a stream deck can even handle. So. Uh, you know, just keep that in mind. And some of these will have pages that you can swipe back and forth between. So keep that in mind. 
Pretty cool. You can also uh, go to other pages simply by uh, making yourself folders, much like a stream deck. So you click on a page, you go back to a page, and you have a bunch of buttons here. You go again, you go and you get a bunch of buttons here, and uh, you go back. So uh, with the um, the touch portal, you do get two pages for free, and that's going to be uh, a nice two by four. So you have eight buttons on here and another eight here, but consider you got to have a, a forward and backwards button to get to the two different folders. So technically you have seven on this side, and you got seven on this side. So you got a total of 14 buttons for free. Now my stream deck over here is a uh, three by five. So technically I have 15 here, but you know, I also got the, uh, the different folders. So if I click on the folder and then go back, I, you know, that, that limits. Uh, so I technically have 14 as well on here. Now, one thing I really like about deck board is it's just really clean. The interface is just like, there's no fluff around this thing. So it's just like a nice kind of easy on the eye situation. You don't have any of your, uh, your information around your screen. Um, so keep that in mind that, the, uh, the touch portal does have the same thing where it'll get rid of all your information, but I think you have to pay for it. So I have my phone over here, which is a good, uh, reliable source. And not to mention that I also have other phones maybe laying around my apartment. You know, I have, I think about two or three phones in my apartment that are just kind of sitting in a box somewhere collecting dust. So technically I could take that, that phone and make that my dedicated stream deck. Uh, using these two applications. Now, all I need is a little stand or something like that. So technically, I could get myself one of these little phone cases right here with a little kickstand on it. And just like that, now I have myself a little stream deck that I can sit up here on the side and uh, just kind of have that sitting on my desk. And I can just go ahead and touch my stream deck however I see fit. Now, I will need to have power to this thing so I'm not wasting the battery the whole time I'm using it. So keep that in mind that if you are going to do this, A, you're going to need Wi-Fi, and B, you're going to need to uh, connect this via some sort of power or USB Type-C or whatever your phone takes. So keep that in mind. So you can see over here, I do have uh, my deck board and that's what this is what the, the application looks like. It's very simple. All you gotta do is just go ahead and connect via this little uh, Wi-Fi signal right here. You click on that and that's where you're gonna be able to uh, take your deck board application and turn it into a, it, there's a little, a, a little button you gotta click on. It goes into scan mode and then you can start to scan for the app and just boom, just like that, you're hooked up and you, you know, Bob's your uncle, you know what I'm saying? It's very, it's very simple or go to USB and uh, you know, plug it in. That's deck board, very, very easy to go ahead and just create something. You can label it however you see fit. You know, you have your macros all down here to change what you want on Spotify, on Twitch, display different things, or open up a program or, or change uh, some sort of text, or maybe control which scene you're in inside of OBS. So all you have to do is just go ahead and uh, click on, you know, select the scene. And once you hit add, it automatically adds it to your deck board and also adds it to your phone. That's for setting up a deck board. So with touch portal, on the other hand, now that I'm connected inside, you can always come up to the top right and you see a little plug icon, you see a little settings icon, you come down to uh, the OBS and you can see where your local host is. You see that it shows auto connect and boom, it does auto connect. And you can see that on the bottom right hand side where it shows connected to Android. There's your four by two situation. You can start to customize your buttons. Um, and it'll go through like a setup process with you to kind of determine what you exactly want to utilize inside of uh, touch portals application. It, again, it's very simple. Now I did have one error uh, while I was using this and that was that for some reason this went to its default screen and for, it was it was putting my buttons on top of their like uh, kind of default buttons that was behind it or in front of my buttons. It was doing some weird stuff where a button was double double dipping in a sense and doing two different tasks and I didn't want it to I actually hit I hit start streaming I actually started streaming on accident so um yeah so that's a problem uh but to fix that I just had to close out of the application close out of the application on my PC and then everything went back to normal so just keep that in mind if that ever does happen to you just close out of the applications and come back in so with this you can already see that we have a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different features and there's a ton of uh different uh, events you can add in different actions and whatnot. You have navigations, you can run programs, you can open up utilities, do some visual effects, you can do some OBS stuff, XSplit, Streamlabs, Twitter, Twitch, and you can even connect it to your uh, Philips Hue lights if you really wanted to. And I'm sure maybe somewhere out there you might be able to finagle some uh, some applications to connect to other things. I don't know, man. I haven't really dived too deep into this yet, but knowing that there's a free stream deck out there, essentially uh, for you guys, I think your money is better spent not on $150 or however expensive the, the stream decks are today, but maybe spend that towards different uh, different quality setups, maybe a new GPU to stream off of, maybe a new CPU, maybe a new camera, maybe a new lens, maybe a new light, maybe a new microphone, maybe a new seat, maybe a new you know cat toy so people have something to look at, maybe get yourself a second webcam and set up a little cat cam or something like that, you know what I mean? You have better options out there for your money than just blowing it all on a uh, stream deck when a stream deck is kind of like, you know, it's a little bit of a fancy thing that you don't technically need, 
uh, but it does help. Now, I do have one other solution that I did back in the day, which was I have a little USB external uh, numpad. Give me a second. Now, back in the day, I actually uh, was using this thing I, from Manhattan. Now, I bought this back, I forget, dude. It must have been 2014, 2015. Um, so basically back then when I first started streaming, I was using a, uh, a single PC setup and then I was using a dual PC setup. When I went to start using a dual PC setup, I started using this little number pad thing here to go ahead and uh, type in my different sources and my scenes using this thing and just using the built-in hockeys inside of OBS. Now that is the poor man's uh, you know, stream deck, but it works, man. And I've seen other casters do it in, in the past as well, but it's good. And you can download applications uh, to really customize this, to get it to, uh, you know, look at this thing on its own, or you can go ahead and just have yourself a stream PC. If you have a secondary PC, you don't have to worry about, you know, if I press nine here, it's going to press nine on my gaming PC too, right? So that could be a problem. Just keep that in mind that all these buttons may be on your gaming PC or your stream slash gaming PC. So if you hit a button here, it might affect your, uh, your keyboard. Uh, but that wasn't a problem for me. I, I never really used my numpad, so it wasn't really a big deal, but these are uh, quite cheap. I think this cost me like $10, maybe uh, $15. And again, the most expensive version of the applications of these things, I think I saw maybe Touch Portal or Deck Board went for like $12.99. So I don't know, man, but I think another one was like $8.99. I forget. So, you know, you're spending about 15 bucks regardless of what you want here in this situation. Although they have the free versions with less buttons and whatnot. So keep that in mind that it's really cool. And especially if you do have that free phone laying on hand, just, you know, set it up on the side, let it just sit there and that can be your stream deck. You know what I mean? That's the end of this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the brand new uh, free applications available to you guys. And I'm sure there's more on the app store and uh, the Google play store. So go check it out, go test around, go try different applications and just see what maybe works for you. Just read the reviews and see what's good and bad about it in each given reviews section of the app store and Google play store. You get it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in another video really soon. Um, if you guys could go ahead and sub to the channel, that'd be nice, man. There's about 90% of you guys that aren't sub based on my viewership, okay? So 90% of you guys aren't subbed, and I'm going to need you to click that sub button. You know what I'm saying? It's right there, dude. Just click that sub button. You don't have to. You can do whatever you want, man. Click the bell, too, while you're at it if you want. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Comment down below if this was uh, helpful to you, and if you have any questions, uh, hit me up. I don't know everything about this software. So if you come with me at a, a question and I don't know the answer, I'll try to look into it, but don't, you know, I don't fully know the software that well in and out. So I'll try to help you out as best I can. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. You are beautiful. Bye.